Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to share my first design team project for Jamie's Not Too Shabby Shop on Zibit. And this project is also my entry into Harumi's giveaway challenge. Harumi is scrapper and crafter here on YouTube. And you guys should know that Jamie is having a sale through February 5th. Plus, if you use the coupon code CRAFTYPAWS, you get an additional 10% off. I'll put all those details in the description box below. Let me go ahead now and share with you guys what I use for this project. This super cute oddball art stamp from Whimsy. She is called BFF Lydia and Willy Worm. And I think it's so funny that there is a little worm in the pocket there in her sweater. So funny. And I just love the sad kind of wistful eyes on all of the oddball art stamps. The papers that I used, I cut into graphic 45 paper. I know. But this is for a special project. This is for my niece, who's turning 20 very soon. So this is an envelope mini album slash birthday card. I followed a tutorial by Bona, and I will also link to that tutorial video. And I was really inspired by Christy, who is a Twins For Me Too here on YouTube because she did one of these. And when I saw her video, I thought, ah, oh, that would be perfect for my niece's birthday. So I use these three pieces of Graphic 45 paper. And I'm sorry, I don't have more to show you, but I literally have like one little scrap left of one of these sheets. They're from the Bohemian Bazaar collection and the Old Curiosity Shop collection. And to make the tie here, I used this beautiful sari ribbon from Candace Scarborough. Isn't it gorgeous? So bohemian. It's from recycled sari fabric. Gorgeous, right? I made a little reinforcement using the smallest diamond die of the nesting circle dies. I made this little tag just for a little something something for the front. And it has a poodle, not, not because of my biscuit, by the way. <laughs> my niece also loves dogs. And her dog that she raised from puppyhood is named Boomer. And he's also a poodle. And she really, really misses him. She sends like text messages and Facebook updates and stuff like that, just saying that she misses her dog. So sweet. She, my niece is away in college. She's a sophomore. I totally get it. When she's feeling a little wistful, she thinks about her dog and wishes she could cuddle with him. So I thought... Perfect, I will highlight him in this album. So I made this envelope that opens out and reveals a whole bunch of different layers. I used the largest setting on the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch using the 11 and a half by 11 and a half piece of paper to make this outside. I rounded all of the corners and I just love, love this pattern paper. I used this butterfly die cut that was gifted to me. I think this came from Jane, Alter Junkie. I could be wrong. Um, I had this flower that I, I did tons of fussy cutting. I will warn you right now, tons and tons of fussy cutting. <laughs> I got this from a little scrap of paper that I have also been saving uh, because of this rose. I think it's so pretty. And I put Wink of Stella, the clear Wink of Stella on these pieces, although it probably doesn't show up so well, but there's a great shimmer to them. This is the quote that I thought would be so perfect to go with this sweet little girl. And I think it's also a great quote to live by. Happiness is a choice. I don't know who said it, but I printed this out on my printer. And this is what I think I could look at every single day. And they've done studies on happiness. You know, a lot of studies have shown is that Happiness doesn't come from money or material goods. They come from community and just that feeling of well-being. They said some of the happiest people in the world live in extreme poverty, actually, but they're surrounded by people that they love, community. And in that sense, I feel like this YouTube community makes me so happy. I feel so blessed to have found you all. Anyway, this was one of the cut apart um, sections from one of those paper lines, but I also cut out with an X-Acto knife this section here, printed this out, and then uh, inked the background so that it kind of met, went better with the paper. And I also put 
little tiny rhinestones on each of the letters. And I fussy cut these flowers out from the pattern paper, pop them up on foam adhesive so there's a little bit of dimension. Now this girl I just love and I thought she would be perfect for my niece. I colored her hair with Copic markers while well, I colored the whole thing up with Copic markers. I paper pieced the sweater just with a little scrap from my scrap box and I really like how she turned out. I used a funky hair color. All my Copic colors I will also list in my blog post which I'll link to below. I just really like how she turned out and I think with her kind of sad face, the sentiment goes really well. So she can choose happiness. And I think that's really something that we could all be reminded of, but particularly my niece who's in college. This first layer, I don't know if you can see that there, is a Martha Stewart punch. It's the, called the Iron Gate. It's a border punch. It's this one, which I love. And then the second layer here, which you can see a little bit there, is actually a Halloween fence punch, also Martha Stewart. It's got little bats in it, but I thought that would be cool with this uh, little girl here with her funky hair. The next layer is more of that paper. I made this into a frame and I printed out a picture of her dog, Boomer, my niece's dog, Boomer. And I also fussy cut more of these flowers out, pop them up on foam adhesive so there's dimension there. And he's just all bundled up in a little blanket. This is a little um, piece. It's from a snap collection. And I was gifted this by Marla H. And I picked out this puppy love one. And I just, you know, put it on black cardstock. And then again, on this pattern paper that I use for all of the different layers, the little tabs where I adhere each layer. The next is this little tab here it says bark. And I just love that. I again, just, you know, put some black cardstock around it and then put more of this pattern paper around it. And that comes from this set that was gifted to me by Vani, who's my divine grace here on YouTube. And then this was a little glassine pocket. I cut, fussy cut out more of those flowers. Another sentiment that was from that paper collection, I fussy cut out. And this is where I'm going to put her birthday check. <laughs> you know, when kids get to be a certain age, they're less interested in present presents from their aunt and more interested in cash. <laughs> At least that's what I found with my niece and nephew. This is another die cut. This was gifted to me by Beth, Beth's scrapbook room. And this was a, another pocket. It's actually a library card pocket. I just fussy cut out more of that pattern paper. And then I made this little tag in here. And that's my niece with her dog, Boomer. And the back, I'm going to write a little sentiment, a birthday wish for her. That's a library card. How cool is that, right? And then the last is this film strip that I use my EK Success Punch for. And I did a whole series of pictures of her dog, Boomer, and my dog, Bandito, playing together. This is the EK Success or EK Tools film strip punch that I picked up at Michael's. And then the last page is the happy birthday punch from Martha Stewart. And that's what I did in the back. And then this is just fussy cut out more from the pattern paper. And I really like how this turned out. It gives me lots of room for messages, little goodies. And I really just love this kind of bohemian, funky style. I hope my niece likes it. Thank you, Harumi, for motivating me to find this great sentiment for my niece. And Jamie, I hope you like this project. I love how this came out. And I think she is just darling and really is a focal point for this uh, little mini album. I just love her little outfit and her expression. She's just got that kind of petulant look, perfect for a teenager or a young college student. <laughs> I say that because I'm planning on making something for my niece. Her birthday is coming up in March and she's a sophomore in college. And I saw this stamp and I just thought it would be perfect. The only thing is I'm not too keen on that little worm in the pocket. So I thought I would take a little piece of scotch tape and put it over that worm before I inked it up and stamped it. Ink up the stamp, and I'm using Memento 
Tuxedo Black ink because I'm planning on using my Copic markers to color her up. I'm going to carefully remove that little piece of tape. I'm going to put my mouse pad underneath the paper that I'm going to stamp because that little extra give seems to help get a clean image. Pretty good. I got a little down here, but that second image stamped perfectly without the little worm. So here I'm just going to show you a little bit of fussy cutting. I am using an X-Acto knife to cut out the space between her torso and her arm. And I am just fussy cutting out her sweater so that I can paper piece this patterned polka dot paper onto my stamped image that I'm going to be coloring up with my Copic markers. I will say that in paper piecing, I would recommend doing the shading on even the pattern paper before I, you know, you fussy cut everything out. And I would recommend Copic coloring the image, you know, the skin and the hair and all that on your um, coloring paper before adhering on the paper pieced portions. So before I adhere any of my pattern paper pieces that I'm going to be putting on my image for paper piecing, I take my Faber-Castell Pit Pen in SB, which has a nib that's like a paintbrush, you know, like the brush side of a Copic marker, and go all along the edges so that the white part of the paper is not visible and it gives a really nice finished look, especially when you're paper piecing. I know it takes a little bit of extra time and you have to fiddle longer with these little tiny pieces, but I think it really does make a difference in the final product. So I'm gonna just do a quick coloring of her hair. I thought I'd try some funky colors. So this one is going to be done with the RVs, the red violets, and I just start with a light color first, and I'm just trying to put in where I think the highlights will be. And I leave a lot of the white of the paper when I do that, and it's just a really light flicking motion. motions are, the more it's going to look like hair. And I sometimes like to take the back end of the marker off too. It kind of helps equalize and prevents 